folks, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider, your good old friend HDR, here with another video for you. But today we're going to be doing a little bit different video, a little bit different ride. Now, why am I saying this? Well, first of all, Mrs. HDR thought I was totally crazy about this ride, but this is a ride I want to do to see how this gear is going to work out. Now, the gear I'm talking about, and let's see if we can zoom out a little bit and show you this. The gear I'm talking about here is the freeze out gear. All right, the freeze out gear I purchased from Cycle Gear. Uh, actually, Mrs. HDR purchased uh, the top here for me, the pants, as well as the, the hood. All right, so here's the hood. And Mrs. HDR purchased all this for me a few years ago for Christmas. It's been uh, very, very excellent. For, uh, for cold weather riding. And today I wanted to go out and test that gear out because it's very cold out. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yesterday, I did go back to Cycle Gear and I purchased, I'm gonna try to get this a better view of this, the actual inserts. These are the uh, Freeze Out brand uh, inner glove inserts. So I wanted to go to, to, to Cycle Gear. Now you can buy these online off their website. They, uh, they think they cost me about $16 for these. And you can purchase these things uh, off their website, but I wasn't sure of the glove size. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, large is going to work okay, and hopefully they're going to go under my gloves. We'll talk about that on the ride. The other thing I picked up that I thought was pretty amazing are these. These are called inner socks. Now the inner socks are also $16, so I'm very happy and pleased that I was able to pick these socks up. Uh, and I'm, we're going to be wearing these today. Uh, now, you also know I do have my soft lowers on the motorcycle, so we do have the soft lowers. So I'll be gearing it with that on. Um, I do, as you see, I'll, well, I don't, no. I'm going to put a t-shirt on over this, and then I am going to wear my sweatshirt and leather jacket. So we're going to be quite bundled up for this ride. Uh, right now, let me see currently what the weather forecast is here. Um, let me see if I can bring it up on my phone real quick. So bear with me here for just a second. And uh, we will bring this weather up here. Uh, it's funny with the weather app. Um, let's see here. So it's showing me it's 42 degrees here. We're going to try to bring this up. And we'll try to get it in focus here. So it's 42 degrees outside right now. All right, that's exactly what it is. And uh, we're going to be going out there for a ride. So I'm going to take you along for this ride so you can listen to either it's going to be cold or not. I do want to show you one thing before we go for this ride. Uh, we're going to take a, take a quick walk outside. I'm going to take a quick video clip of this. And, uh, and then I'm going to get geared up and we're going to get underway. Uh, right now the time is um, five, 5 minutes till 11 a.m. on Sunday. Today's date being, uh, let's see, today is November the 12th. So today's November 12th and we're doing this ride. You're going to see this actually today. Hopefully when I get back, I'll put it all together and we'll post this up here for you so you can see this ride. Uh, so I'm going to be wearing the hood as we talked about. Also a full face helmet uh, to block some more of the air. Uh, I like riding this time of year because people look at you, don't they? They look at you like you are absolutely nuts being on a motorcycle. Well, folks, we seen a guy on his motorcycle yesterday. It was 17 degrees here and he was riding the cycle gear to buy the hood because his neck was cold. He said it's the only thing that was cold. He had chaps on, he had a leather jacket, he was riding a full dresser, and, uh, and, and he looks very... He, I asked him, he said, I'm comfortable except for my neck. So there you have it. Uh, because we know the wind chill is what's going to get you, right? So uh, just real quick here, let me see here um, if I can bring up a real quick motorcycle wind chill. Uh, just a quick motorcycle windshield chart. So I found one here online. Blows up a little bit. It's time yet. So at 49 degrees, we're going to go. Uh, if I get the bike up to 55 miles an hour, we're looking at the windshield factor of being 40. If uh, I get the wind, the bike up to 65 miles an hour, we're looking at the windshield to be 39. If you've never seen one of these, I'll try to show this to you real quick. I don't want to bore you with all this technical stuff here. Uh, that is a, of course the camera's not going to focus on it. 
but you can find these anywhere on the internet. Just do a, a Google search for motorcycle wind chill uh, chart and you will find that. Okay, so I'm going to gear up here, get ready to get out of here, um, and we're going to show you this one clip, then I'll see you on the bike. Uh, be back out there, and I'll see you there. Okay, so don't kill me for the, uh, the dirty pool here, but this pool was actually frozen this morning. It had a good layer of ice on top of it. I thought it still would now, but it does not. Uh, I'm standing out here right now with the cold weather gear on. Uh, switch this camera around here a little bit. And uh, so I am outside here, as you can see, uh, with the cold weather gear on, and uh, it doesn't feel too uncomfortable. But I'm sure once you get on the bike and get the wind going, it's, it's going to get a little worse. So not to make this video too long, let's go out and we're going to suit up. And I'll see you guys on the motorcycle. Okay, folks. Harley Day Rider here. Back at you on the motorcycle. Doing about 50 miles an hour. And I would have to tell you that at that point, the wind chill factor, as we showed on that chart, is about 40. 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really not that uncomfortable riding. Um, would I want to take a long trip and uh, ride all over the, <laughs> put the, you know, 200 miles on in weather like this? Probably not. But, uh, but hey, I am out here. I am riding the uh, the old Harley uh, Electric Glide Classic here. I can tell you one thing, motorcycles run better in the cooler weather, right? Because they're air cooled, so the engine stays a lot cooler, and I just think it performs a lot better. Uh, but uh, as far as being warm enough, uh, the, the, my gloves, these are the, the gloves you see me normally wear like when it's cool out, but they're mesh gloves, there's, there's air holes in there. So the liners are working very, very well. Uh, at protecting my hands but you know it's really cold out you know the helmet in the garage our garage is not heated uh, the helmet in the garage itself uh, was in the uh, the touring pack and <laughs> I put the helmet just on on my head and the helmet was cold so you know it's one of them kind of days wow what are they doing down here must be having a fire training today They're burning something back here. Oh yeah, that old house, hey, they're having a the fire training. Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't know if uh, your fire department's do that in your neck of the woods there, but around here, I was a fireman for years and we used to do those on the weekend. Man, we used to, you know, you learn a lot. That's why you do that stuff. Uh, they go in old buildings and, you know, they're donated to the fire company and they set them on fire. So, uh, and then they train all day in it. But yeah, going back to that, I put my helmet on my, just on my head, and, and the helmet was cold. I was like, yep, I'm wearing the hood. Uh, so I put the hood on, and I uh, got that rod uh, on my head there. Uh, makes the helmet a little bit more tighter, but I can tell you what, um, definitely keeps your neck and your head warm, that's for sure. But yeah, I just love the, like, the looks you get when it's like, you know, 40 degrees and below. Now you do have to watch, if you start riding like in it's 30 degrees out, you gotta really be careful, even if the roads look dry. Be careful for black ice out there, you know. I've never experienced it, but a member of our club did one time and he said it wasn't very pretty, uh, you know. When you go around a slight bend and your bike goes down, you lose your bike. It wasn't very good, so. Uh, I'm going to probably do one of the most insane things here when you could do when it's cold out. And, uh, um, I'll show you that here in just a couple minutes. Oh, man. All right. Because I really want to give this, uh, this gear a test. Once again, this is a freeze out gear. The only place I've been able to find it, I'm sure you can find it on somebody other like JL or some of those uh, cycle, cycle shops. But the only place I've been able to find it is cycle gear. Um, and I've been impressed so far with the pants here. My feet, uh, I can't tell you when you put those booties on, the, uh, the they call them the socks or inner socks. Make sure you wear a thinner sock with it because what's happened is, is it made my boots uh, super tight. So it's probably not good for my circulation. But hey, it is what it is. 
All right, let me bring you back in here in just a few minutes, and I'll show you where I'm at next for this, uh, for this, the epic freeze-out gear challenge. Ha-ha! <laughs> Okay, folks, you know, you can't really test out cold weather gear unless you test it out when you when you got some speed going on here. So, and Mrs. HDR, yeah, I was leaving the house, Mrs. HDR said, you got to be one of the craziest people I know. And I said, you know what, this is not for me. This is a matter of science, right? This is for all the scientists out there. Um, but you do want to extend your riding seasons uh, a little bit more than most normal people. Um, I can't tell you when it's cold that your face shield really falls up quickly. But uh, we're going to get on the highway here and uh, just take a short jaunt, maybe an exit, and uh, see how the, uh, the gear does. Up to this point, um, I really have no complaints. Outside of this, uh, my right thumb is cold for some strange reason. I don't know if that's just where it's catching the most air at underneath this... Uh, bearing you know coming through there but it's not painstakingly cold it's not something that's going to uh, not allow me to ride the bike but let's get going here and uh, get at the speed and uh, see what we come up with so right now I'm at 70 miles an hour now we just dropped that wind chill factor down by what maybe another I don't know you guys look at it there it's 40 degrees out we're going 70 mile an hour so the wind chill factor probably dropped to about 35 maybe uh, I don't know really the variation with speed to the wind chill factor I didn't look at it that closely but uh, I am in sixth gear and uh, I feel very comfortable uh, I do have my leather jacket on I do have that sweatshirt on I showed you earlier um, but yeah, still, I think you could, you know, you probably could travel. If I could just, and I think what's going to be next is, uh, honestly, uh, Mrs. HDR has seen him in uh, this week's Harley Davidson flyer. If you don't get that, I'd recommend you sign up for it. Uh, it shows you the latest deals. They got some really nice hand grips, heated hand grips. They're kind of like these ones are, but I think they're like $185. Uh, but I think from the guys I hear out there that have heated hand grips, they're like, hey, you know what, they're worth their weight in gold. If I'm going to be pulling this kind of crap off, I'm going to need uh, some kind of hand grips. Uh, I have half a mind to go all the way down to Walmart uh, down in Weirton, West Virginia. But uh, the only thing wrong with that is I got so much gear on. When I go inside, when I was even in the house suiting up, I was starting to really sweat. I mean, it was really getting warm out, or warm in the house anyway. Not so much out here. I need to get an actual thermometer on this bike too. I mean, it's got the air temperature down here, but it never really, to me, reads right. It's saying just a little bit under 40. It might be close. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, one thing I may have to do after this ride is top my uh, fuel tank off. Talked about that before. Sean Smoke says you never leave them run down because you get some rust in your tank. We don't want that to happen over the winter. But yeah, so right now we're doing uh, about 65 mile an hour. Pretty sustained uh, riding condition here. Like I said the only thing bothering me is that is this thumb being cold. Other than that, uh, very, very warm in the gear. I think the gear is a thumbs up. Uh, if you don't have a set of it, you're riding the cold weather, I do suggest you buy the uh, freeze-out gear. Uh, I always like to make that disclaimer too, they're not a sponsor of mine, neither is Cycle Gear. Um, I don't really, I don't have any sponsors doing this. I do this just for fun, for my entertainment, and uh, maybe your entertainment. But, uh, you know, I've been looking into that Polar Bear Club that uh, Mike Killy 7 is a part of. And uh, trying to find out more about it. There's not that much information about how cold does it have to be out to ride and uh, how many miles you have to ride before you can be a part of the Polar Bear Club. You know, I'm not really sure at that point. Uh, but anyway. All right, but I'm going to get off this exit down here and spin around and start heading back. And 
and maybe I think once I get back to the house uh, and get in the house I got to pick up one thing for Mrs. HDR here at the uh, at one of our dollar stores uh, in Burgestown but once I get back to the house uh, I'll do a little wrap up with you again I don't want to make this video too long I'm sorry for the length of it but uh, before what it is and uh, what I wanted to tell you it kind of had to be a little lengthy today sorry about that all right, so we're going to get off here at Collier's Way, exit uh, 5. I'm on uh, Route 22, and it's going from Burgestown, Pennsylvania, towards Weirton. If, uh, I know some of you folks like to follow me on Google Maps, so you'll know where that's at. You'll know just how long I, uh, I rode. Uh, probably got about 10 miles right now, roughly, on the odometer there. Uh, riding in the... The frigid weather here in Pennsylvania, but uh, but it's fun. It's something uh, different, you know. I'm, I'm kind of uh, pumped up for this one. All right, so I'll see you back here when I get to the house, and we'll do the wrap up, and uh, then you can leave your comments below. All right, I'll talk to you folks in a little while. Okay, folks. Well, we made it back here to the editing station of Harley Day Rider. As you can see, one of my favorite uh, pictures there is myself and Mrs. HDR going down the highway. That was a picture, actually, we were on our way to, uh, yeah, we were actually on our way to Wyoming, South Dakota, uh, during our summer trip. Yeah, I made it back. It was extremely uh, cold out. The uh, fastest I got to the motorcycle, as you've seen on the video, was 70 miles an hour. Uh, looking at the chart when I came back, that would have made the wind chill factor drop to about 32 degrees. I think it was 32 anyway. But uh, the gear held up wonderfully. Uh, my hands, like I told you on the ride, my thumb was getting a little cold. But other than that, uh, my feet were very warm. Uh, my core was toasty as well as my legs. Um, so I think I could ride. I'm sure I could ride further than, than what I rode today. And uh, it, it wouldn't be a problem. I put a total of 25 miles on the motorcycle just to get her out. Get her riding around a little bit. Uh, as Sean Smoke always says, take a little rip. Uh, so, <laughs> so I took a little rip and it, and it was fine. So... But thanks for watching this episode of Harley Day Rider here. Uh, you know, thanks for joining me on each of these videos. Give me a thumbs up on this one. I do appreciate that. Also, um, make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel here, folks. Uh, it makes a big difference. It lets us know as uh, moto vloggers that we're doing a, a decent job for you and you get to see these rides out there. Hopefully this test will, uh, uh, did you some good. Maybe you'll check out the freeze out gear. Once again, none of these people, I don't have affiliations with anybody. Um, it's just something I use, and I, and I often do that. I, I love to share what I use with people. You know, like even the rain gear. You know, I told you my rain gear was like $17 on Amazon. It's nothing fancy. It's not Harley rain gear. It's just rain gear. Um, and it's just stuff I use, and if, if I accept it, and if I like it, then I want to share that with you. So take care, everybody. Remember, ride your own ride. Be safe out there. Uh, if you got this time of year, definitely bundle up, uh, you know, if you live anywhere around this area. Uh, again, we're close to uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and um, so, you know, it's, it's getting a little chilly right now. Uh, the weather's starting to drop. Uh, you definitely will not see me out single digits playing around. Uh, but today was a double digit, and I thought, you know, why not? It was uh, 30, what did I show you when I started out? 39 degrees or 40 degrees when I started, so it was, wor it was worthwhile. It was a great test. For us out there for for everybody that rides i did see one bike on the way home and he gave me a big wave and i just told mrs hr and she said yeah because he knew there was somebody out here just as crazy as he was uh, i don't know that i think it's just for the love of riding all right folks thanks and i will talk to you next time remember again ride your own ride be safe out there take care everybody and i'll see you very soon bye for now